54 first down. Gave up that 14-point lead in the fourth quarter. Masoli's first throw downfield. Got Banks. In stride. Sweetie B. Touchdown. Second consecutive week. They open with a touchdown to Banks on the first possession. Just gets in behind coverage. Boy, Jeremiah Masoli put this up so that his receiver, Brandon Banks, could just run under it. Use what he does best, and that's just pure speed, outrunning the coverage, and goes after one of the top corners in the Canadian Football League right now in Chris Rand Banks lines up to the near side. Looking that way, Banks has got the catch, forced out by Randall. First and 10 in bomber territory at the 52-yard line. A play-action fake, and the hit screen to Shamad Chambers back into traffic, and Chambers breaks the tackle, and he has a first down to the field. First downs in the opening quarter, in the opening eight minutes. And it's a quarterback draw, Masoli up the middle, and a feet-first slide for a seventh first down for the Ticats. Just nice balance and play calling right now. Pounding Alex Green. Getting that defensive line thinking that way. Then you go hit screen outside on the previous play to Shamad Ching. Now you're back quarterback draw. This is the defense right now on their heels trying to figure out. Second and nine of the Bombers showing pressure. Here they come. Masoli stands in, gets it away, saunders the catch, and a tie cat first down to the Winnipeg 47. Great protection up front. This offensive line giving Jeremiah Mazzoli lots of time. It was pressure. There was a stunt as well. Go ahead and run it. Watch the blocking up front as they try and twist in the middle. And Mazzoli gets just enough time in that throwing lane to get it out of there. 18-yard gain and a new set of downs. Five catches, 121 last week for Saunders. He gets back at start at their 26. Big inside, the hitch goes to Banks, gets a big block. Ryan Bob the sack and three pressures in that game. Second and four. It's only to throw sidelines, get by Banks. What matchup that is. Banks against one of the best in the business in Chris Randall, and he's winning the battle so far. Well, the, the other issue for Chris Randall is the last time these two teams played, Banks wasn't a receiver. He was a returner. So he, he didn't go out there and, and play against him and have sort of his book on this receiver. You can watch him on film, but it's different. You just don't get that same sense unless you played against him at least once out there. 96 yards for Banks here in the first half. There's that quarterback option, and there's only got a win. And then we'll step out around the 48. Loud fans here in Winnipeg. Amp it up. Mazzoli in pressure. Gets away. And will run for a first down inside the 40. Tracked down by Mo Leggett. But Mazzoli's moved the chains. Well, you got to believe that the part of the concern for Hamilton and trading C.J. Gable was how good he was as a blocker in pass pro. And the question would be, can Alex Green do the same thing? Jesse Briggs was substituted in for Sam Hurl, went on the blitz there, and Alex Green picked him up, opening up a, a running lane for Jeremiah Masoli. He gets a new set of rushed for 69 yards so far in the game. Second down, they're throwing, and he's caught. And Alexander will hold up Banks, ruled by Loeffler, but another first down, and Speedy B goes over 100 on the night. Wow. Helps to get that one out of the gate. Going downtown for the first touchdown of this game, but now since then, Brandon Banks has been working these intermediate routes, whether it be the curls or the quick outs, whether it's in front of Alexander or Chris Randall. Now after that first one, they've got the DBs getting out of their chair, turning and running with them. Consecutive 100-yard receiving game for Banks. First down. It goes to Saunders. I'm saying must win time in Vancouver. Boy, that's... A big game for the Red Blocks as well, especially if 
Hamilton can make this score hold. Great pass to Saunders, and he's loose. Jalen Saunders down inside the 35 before Loeffler brings him down. Boy, how elusive Jeremiah Mazzoli can be and just getting on the run, negotiating the pocket. He has Sam Hurl, number 10, right in the middle of your screen. It goes straight down the middle here, and he's able to avoid that, get out of there, buy himself an extra second, and Jalen Saunders comes back nicely to the ball here. 34 for Saunders, his fourth catch of the game. Back into field goal range, fake to green. The hitch goes to Jamad Chambers. Ty gets backed up. Jeremiah Masoli got off to a great start with this throw right down the rail to Brandon Banks, who got in behind Chris Randall. That was the first series of this football game, but he used his legs as well, broke down the pocket a couple times, got Alex Green involved, had in the first quarter certainly Winnipeg on their heels a little bit. to start at their five. And from his end zone, he's only scrambling. Shamad Chambers the kick. 12 on second down conversions in the first half. Second and five has time. Downfield, Saunders the catch. And they get out of a hole up across the 40 on a big grab for Jalen Saunders, his fifth of the game. Well, back-to-back -back plays. He's gone after a little bit of Sam Hurl here. Sam Hurl, you don't see him right now, but he's going to drop underneath this. Jeremiah Mazzoli puts this ball right over his right shoulder. There he is in chase right here, and he's trying to catch up. The ball's coming in right over his shoulder. 33-yard game. Masoli believed that Hurl wasn't going to look back because if he looked back, he could have caught that. Saunders up to 86 yards receiving. Back in his hands once again. Gets a block here. It's a big play. And Dean just turning it over on the other side of the half. No, it's going to be a quick kick. And it's close on side. Banks going to be first one to it. Brandon Banks has got it. Onside. Flag comes down yards but it looked like he lined up behind the putter we'll have to confirm it it, it looked like it they, this was a design play with banks in motion from the short side of the field to the wide field and get behind Jeremiah Masoli and anyone behind the kicker can go There's and no recover the ball this play as Hamilton number 16 was onside for the kick Recovered by 16, first down, Hamilton. Correct Sorry. call made by the official and a great play call for the teams and from the offense here. There's Banks here. He's as deep as the deepest, and watch Masoli step up when he kicks. Now, Brandon Banks has got to be behind him when he kicks the ball, and clearly he is. Perfectly executed play. Are they in Felix Colbert Lucier Ray? Direct traffic throws in zone. Fantus has got it. Came out of the end zone. They'll mark him at the one. First catch of the night. It's a 16-yard grab. Tristan Opalugos had a good first half and just got caught inside a little bit too far and allowed Masoli out of the pocket. And he's dangerous when he's out there with the option to either run or throw. And how about Andy Fantus keeping both feet in back? Great touchdown drive orchestrated by Jeremiah Masoli. This was the key throw to Jalen Saunders. Got that late penalty in the first half. Saunders was important in this drive with a couple of big plays. The quick kick to Brandon Banks who was onside and recovered it deep in Edmund, or Winnipeg territory, and then Alex Green. Just one catch for 16 yards for Fantuz, but you think this system would benefit him. First mm -hmm. game, five consecutive two and outs, trying to avoid a fourth consecutive two and out here. Underneath it goes to Chambers, Shamad Chambers reaching for the first down stick. So he has time, he's got Luke Tasker, and Tasker a second down conversion catch and his first of the game. A couple of weeks ago against the BC Lions, big third down catch for Luke Tasker, kept the Hamilton Tiger Cats alive. They end up winning that 
game coming back against BC, and that's a big one. Gets him some breathing room, runs a nice out with double moves to get back towards the line of scrimmage on Maurice Leg. 24th, second down conversion catch for Tasker. Half of them, 12 now, have been thrown by Masoli. In the last 16. Take the green, keeper for Mazzoli. First slide up around the 44-yard line. And boy, just like that, Chris, mission accomplished offensively for Hamilton. They don't have to even score on this drive to have this be a momentum-grabbing, game-changing, possibly, drive. I mean, they get backed up inside their own 10-yard line. Bombers get a 2-0 and out there. They get the crowd in it. It's a different, different stadium. Rule him back around the 42. Momentum took him to the 44. Doesn't get credit for that. So it's second and four. Four man rush. Quickly to fan twos. And that's another second down conversion catch. And it's a nice combination when you can go to Tasker on one, fan twos on the other. And he's going to work to become, you know, even more valuable like the old fan twos we've seen in the past. I mean, this is just game two back from injury. He needed that first game just to get his feet underneath him again. And then this one, and as he gets going here, he's going to be more and more important in this offense. Just brought in Landon Rice, who sets up as a, a tight end on this play. Mazzoli to the wide side. He's got a completion. And Chambers another catch. And tough man to bring down. Brandon Alexander there. And that's the sixth catch of the game for Shamat Chambers. Boy, and I'm just impressed with Jeremiah Mazzoli. This is a quick out here. But I'm just impressed with Jeremiah Mazzoli's, just his demeanor. I mean, on the road, hostile territory. He's got the lead, but he's backed up. And just has cool, calm, and collectively taken this offense down the field. Over a five-minute drive now out of their own end. Second and 13 of 22, and second down conversions. A couple of clutch ones on this drive. And back to Fantuz, and he's close to another first down up against T.J. Heath. But what a great, great drive this is. They had one that went 105 to start the second half. Fantuz on the timing out. Watch the throw and how calm and cool Masoli is. Well, at some point here, Richie Hall is going to have to send some heat. Put his back end. The play of the drive. Just get it off. His only quarterback draw. Got a block. And ripped up just inside the five-yard line. Nine for Mazzoli, and it's second and one inside the five. Tell you about it. He sold it, didn't he? Took, took a good, hard look. Not even just a look. I mean, he actually flipped his hips like he was going to throw it to his right. And then went on that quarterback draw. Clearly a design call from June Jones. Eight for 48. On the ground again, this team that hadn't scored a touchdown on a drive starting inside their 20. Trying to do it here for the end zone touchdown. Luke Tasker. You can hear a pin drop in here right now. That was impressive. That Hamilton drive capped off here from Luke Tasker. Wow, that's a great drive. That's 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 how you finish games. There's still lots of time to play, but One hundred yard touchdown drive, 14 plays. So they've had a 105 yarder and a 100 yarder. And trying to make it a three possession game here. The drive took 845 off the clock. Four receivers wide side. This only looks that way. Tasker again. He's got it. And it's 30 to 13 for the visitors. 
17-point lead for Hamilton. Looking for their fourth win of the season. Impressive drive. Starts with this extra effort from Shamad Chambers to get the first first down of the drive. They go 14 plays, 100 yards. Great balance with the run game and Jeremiah Masoli throwing the football. A little bit of Alex Green sprinkled in. Nice run there, but the accuracy, the leadership, it's a type of drive that makes you a franchise player. Looking at second and one, and looking at a possession where Green may have a chance to get over 100. They're gonna throw on second and one. They're gonna go deep here for Chambers has got it. He drops it in the bucket. Alexander drags him down, but what a pass for Masoli. 44 yards to go over 300 in style. Second time this year, and Jeremiah Mazzoli has been on in this second half. The accuracy on this throw is a great example of how he's played really the entire game. Over 300 yards passing, and out of the hole again to midfield. I mean, he has taken full advantage of his opportunity provided to him by June Jones, who made the quarterback change when he took over, said he's going to give Masoli the, the chance to go out and, and prove that he can be a starter for a football team, and he's done just that, and this game is putting a stamp on it. Team top to bottom, start to finish. Trying to move within three points of Ottawa. Pass for Tasker, spins it out there, and Tasker again. Time for the Nissan Titan player of the game, brought to you by the Nissan Titan, official vehicle of the CFL. Second 300-yard passing game for Jeremiah Masoli. Two touchdowns. He also contributed with 48 yards rushing. It is a multi-dimensional offense with the athletic Jeremiah Masoli pulling the trigger and playing quarterback. I think he just solidified himself in this game alone as a starting quarterback, a franchise player. Good for him taking full advantage of this opportunity. June Jones made him the starter and he's taking it and running with it. 81.8% completion percentage on the night. Accuracy's been unbelievable tonight. I mean, he, he has been on spot and Again, I, I go back to his demeanor because even as a defensive player in the league, I always used to look at the quarterback. If the quarterback was calm and cool and we were okay there, we still had a chance to win no matter what was going on. And you take a look at Mazzoli through all of this, whatever the situation in the game, where they were field position-wise, he had that same look in his face like, no problem, here we go. There's been some long drives. He's, he's played outstanding tonight.